So, this is how frustrating Nickelodeon can be. So, this episode is paired with Kenny the Cat. That episode premiered on March 29th, 2014. Nickelodeon didn't air the second pairing until March 29th, 2015. Same dates, but different years. A whole year to air your second pairing, Nickelodeon? Just... Wow! Just... Ugh. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Yeti Krabs. So, Yeti Krabs is about when Squidward is just slacking around the Krusty Krab because they're not getting any business. It's a very slow work day. So, Mr. Krabs tries to tell Squidward to do all of this work, but one, Squidward doesn't listen to Mr. Krabs at all, and two, all of the work that Mr. Krabs is trying to assign to Squidward, SpongeBob is doing all of that work. So Mr. Krabs was hoping in order to convince Squidward to do the work that he would tell him the story of the Yeti Crab who will go after any employee that is just lazy. But of course knowing Spongebob he's gonna take the story too seriously and so while it really doesn't do anything for Squidward it does a lot for Spongebob so Spongebob is working twice as more harder now because he doesn't want to face the Yeti Crabs and coincidentally the Yeti Crabs is actually real and he does come over to the Krusty Krab but not for lazy employees for a different thing. Yeti Crabs it's not like one of the best SpongeBob episodes but you know it's an easy watch and that's all I, that could really matter for the episode but I do think there could have been better use of explorations when it comes to the overall concept because the concept of a yeti crab is interesting. Now there are funny moments throughout this episode like the moments when Mr. Krabs tells Squidward to do all of this work but it's Spongebob doing all of the work for Squidward that was very entertaining. So Squidward literally has nothing to do because even if he was forced to do it, Spongebob ends up doing all of the work. Damn you Spongebob, let Squidward do all the work man. Come on, you need to kind of cool it down there bro. The moments where you do see Spongebob working twice as hard because the Yeti Crab is just standing right there. I thought that was pretty funny. It was really entertaining. And then there is this funny moment where you do get to Squidward towards the end who for some reason dresses up as the Yeti Crab, well Yeti Squid I should say at this point, because he thinks the Yeti Crab isn't actually real, it's actually uh, Mr. Krabs just dressed up when it really is not Mr. Krabs. It's a simple episode but there isn't much that was really explored with an episode like Yeti Crabs. Spongebob has had a lot of very simple episodes and a lot of the simple episodes Spongebob has done I thought were handled way better. You know, a lot better than Yeti Crabs. Yeti Crabs, yeah, has a simple concept. It does what it needs to do, I guess, but the storyline, it feels rather weak and it just feels too thin. When you have simple episodes in Spongebob, at least they could do something to take that simple concept and try to make it into something a little bigger with its simpleness. But that's where I felt Yeti Krabs just lacked there. Also, one of my problems with the episode is how in the hell does Squidward not know that the Yeti Crab is actually the Yeti Crab. Like he actually thought it was Mr. Krabs dressed up. Um, Squidward, Mr. Krabs is not that tall. Mr. Krabs is not the height that the Yeti Krabs is. And I find it odd that Squidward wasn't even believing that it was real because Squidward is smarter than that. He could catch things, but for some reason this episode, he actually thought the Yeti Krabs was Mr. Krabs dressed up, when in reality, it really was just the Yeti Krabs. The other issue is that, of course, the Yeti Krabs is just there, all because he wants a Krabby Patty. We've seen the show and episodes like that hundreds of times where 
the solution is solved with the Krabby Patty. You know, it feels too easy. And then it gets back to the usual at the end. And so that's where I did feel that I was pretty underwhelmed with Yeti Krabs. The other negative I had with the episodes, how I didn't like how Squidward wasn't listening to Mr. Krabs. I mean, Squidward, it's called a job. You're supposed to do your job. Yes, even when you're having slow work days, you know, there's always a little something to do when you're even on your slow work days. But to get more into my positive side with the episode, like I said, there are some funny moments. There's a reference to the episode, The Gift of Gum, because there's a scene near the beginning where SpongeBob is scraping off all of the gum from the table, and then all of the gum he scrapes from the table, it turns into this huge gum ball. And Spongebob told Mr. Krabs how he's going to bring the gumball to Patrick. Because in the episode The Gift of Gum, Patrick is obsessed with gumballs. So when Spongebob mentioned that, it brought me back to the episode The Gift of Gum for a moment. And if the writers were doing like a little reference to that, then I say credit to the writers. They've been doing at least a slightly better job of having some kind of continuation with these episodes. I also did really enjoy the scene where Mr. Krabs was telling the story story of the Yeti Crab that was really cool. I actually got the Graveyard Shift vibe. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when Mr. Krabs was telling the story, it reminded me of that scene when Squidward was telling Spongebob the story of the hash slinging slasher. It gave me that same moment. So how Mr. Krabs was telling the story of the Yeti Crab, which he just told to get Squidward to get to work, which Obviously, it didn't work, but I did really enjoy that scene. And I do think the character design for the Yeti Crab is really cool. I thought it was rather creative for the drawers to come up with the detail for, you know, the Yeti Crab. I do think the biggest laugh out of the episode is definitely Square dressing up as the Yeti Squid for some reason. I still thought Yeti Crabs was really decent. It's way better than its pairing, Kenny the Cat, that piss poor episode. I feel bad this episode is paired with that episode. Like, just wow. So I'm going to give Yeti Crabs a 6.5 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of the episode Yeti Crabs? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! And be sure to say Tiger Power, because if you don't say Tiger Power, the Yeti Crabs is going to find you and haunt you. Nah, I just kidding, you guys. But seriously, Tiger Power! Hmm.